Brought to you by Curious Marineland, where our goal is to make America great through increasing science literacy. So, on this video, uh, we're, I want to explore the term diploid, haploid, uh, homologous chromosomes I'll use, but I'll make a video later for that. Uh, diploid and haploid. So, let's look at these dragons. You'll see it has three homologous pairs, or six total. So its diploid number would be 6. Its haploid number would be 3. So I'm going to select this one, select this one. I'm going to run meiosis, and we're going to come back to it later. I'm going to hit play, hit play. We'll come back to this. So what is meiosis? At various points in the video, go ahead and pause and stop the notes. Now these are notes that I've covered in class, but the whole goal is to uh, create cells that will be used in sexual reproduction to reduce the chromosome number by half and that's kind of the goal and so I want to write on some of this uh, the next video I'm sorry next slide so first we need to know the cells that we're dealing with somatic or body cells here's my way of communicating this with my students we'll give a list of like oh skin cell hair body uh, anything that is not a sex cell. <laughs> if it's not a sex cell, egg or sperm, it's a somatic cell, also called body cell. The words to associate with body cells is the process that produces them, mitosis. The words to associate with sex cells is the process that produces them, meiosis. So I'm going to move through this video quickly because I want you to see the animations. Um, so, oops, let's go back. Diploid versus haploid. So diploid has the complete set of chromosomes versus haploid has half the number. They separate the homologous chromosomes. Meiosis does this. So I use this gesture in my hand, in my class. So imagine this being a chromosome. It doubles like a dyad. And say this is chromosome pair 5. See, they pair up so they can properly separate. They pair up so they can properly separate. So this would be meiosis 1 separates the homologous chromosomes, meiosis 2 separates the chromatids. So let's do it again. Meiosis 1, meiosis 2, 4 cells. I expect my students to know the difference between mitosis producing 2 cells and meiosis producing 4 cells. So half the number of cells found in a gamete. So what uh, in an example would be 23 chromosomes not paired versus 23 pairs for diploid. So let's look at these chromosomes. Uh, some of the chromosomes at the bottom may not show up in the video, the numbering. So, all right, hey, is this a male or a female? You can tell by looking over here. These are the, uh, right here, these are the X chromosomes. Uh, underneath the video, it's labeled down here, if you can follow my little mouse here, this is 19, 20, 21, 22, this is the sex chromosomes. Now, if this was a male, you notice there's no X, but there's a Y. So, what does it mean to be diploid? They have two number twos, two number threes. All the way through number 22, the autosomes, they're going to have two of each homologous chromosomes. They're not identical. You get one from the mother, and you get one from the father. This person is going to send one of their chromosomes to their children, their maternal or their paternal chromosome. Now, let's look at haploid. So, diploid, haploid. Notice the difference? Diploid, haploid. Diploid, haploid. Haploid has only one homologous chromosome, and that includes the sex chromosomes. Because this was a male, here's your Here's your Y over here. You can see the numbering down at the bottom here. So they sent, this person sent a Y. That means their child's going to be a son. So let's look at this. How do you know?
and I'm not going to fill out the rest of the handout, but that's one way of remembering it. When you're going in this direction, when you're going in this direction, if you have a sex cell, you know the diploid or haploid number by knowing the number of chromosomes. Its haploid number is 7, therefore its diploid number would be 14. In this case, if you're given this, let's say you found a, a fly skin cell and you isolated eight chromosomes. You know its diploid number would be eight because it has the complete set of chromosomes and the haploid number would be four. Here's an, another little bit of advice. You're never going to have an odd numbered diploid number unless you have a chromosomal disorder. You can have odd numbered gametes. One of the exercises we do in class is we label the parent cell. We start with one cell, whether it's mitosis or meiosis. Let's label, right? So diploid, haploid. Actually, I need to erase this. Why do I need to erase that? It's not diploid yet. Okay, so I'm drawing with a pen cell here. Diploid haploid, it's got four chromosomes. Four chromosomes. It duplicates. This still counts as four chromosomes. Four chromosomes, so this is still diploid. Diploid. Okay, and well, down here, it's going to stay diploid. Over here, the chromosome number has been cut in half. If I were to label this, I would label this meiosis 1, meiosis 1. And I would label this down here, meiosis 2. Uh, I want this to be a shorter video, so I'm just going to label this H for haploid. All of them are haploid. Okay. So, remember the video I showed you earlier about the dragons? This is the big picture. You start out as a fertilized egg. You do mitosis for the rest of your life. And then, during that time period, you're going to produce reproductive cells. That process is called meiosis. So let's finish up looking at the dragon. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to grab a cell. I'm going to send it over here. I'm going to grab a cell. Let's look and see what I want. Uh, I want it to have fire. And I want it to have wings. Now, my students later will use this software. So let's look at this. Let's go back. So one, two, three chromosomes in a sex cell. One, two, three chromosomes in an egg in a sex cell. So haploid, haploid, let's see what kind of baby dragon we get by hitting play. What does fertilization do? Fertilization fuses the egg and sperm so you're back to your first single cell which is a diploid cell and it's called a zygote. So let's count the number of chromosomes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six chromosomes. That's a Y, so I know this is going to be a male dragon. So this, we're back to having the complete set of chromosomes. It's now diploid. Two haploid cells fused to make these. Let's go ahead and look and see what the baby dragon looks like. And there we go. All right, so that pretty much ends this short little video. And